The Financial Times is an English-language international daily newspaper with a special emphasis on business and economic news. The paper, published by Nikkei in London, was founded in 1888 by James Sheridan and Horatio Bottomley, and merged with its closest rival, The Financial News in 1945. The Financial Times has an average daily readership of 2.2 million people worldwide. FT.com has 4.5 million registered users and over 285,000 digital subscribers, as well as 600,000 paying users. FT Chinese has more than 1.7 million registered users. The world editions of the Financial Times newspaper had a combined average daily circulation of 234,193 copies for January 2014. In February 2014 the world editions, combined, of the Financial Times sold 224,000 copies. In October 2013, the combined paid print and digital circulation of the Financial Times reached nearly 629,000 copies, the highest circulation in its 125-year history. As of August 2014, update, print sales for the paper stand at 210,182. On July 23, 2015, Nikkei agreed to buy the Financial Times from Pearson plc for £844 million. On November 30, 2015, Nikkei completed the acquisition. History the FT was launched as the London Financial Guide on 10 January 1888, renaming itself the Financial Times on 13 February the same year, describing itself as the friend of the honest financier and the respectable broker. It was a four-page journal. The readership was the financial community of the City of London, its only rival being the slightly older and more daring financial news. On 2 January 1893, the FT turned light salmon pink to distinguish it from the similarly named financial news. It was also cheaper to print on unbleached paper, but nowadays it is more expensive as the paper has to be dyed specially. After 57 years of rivalry the Financial Times and the Financial News were merged by Brendan Bracken in 1945 to form a single six-page newspaper. The Financial Times brought a higher circulation while the Financial News provided much of the editorial talent. The Lex column was also introduced from Financial News. Pearson bought the paper in 1957. Over the years the paper grew in size, readership and breadth of coverage. It established correspondence in cities around the world, reflecting early moves in the world economy towards globalization. As cross-border trade and capital flows increased during the 1970s, the FT began international expansion. Facilitated by developments in technology and the growing acceptance of English as the language of business, on 1 January 1979 the first FT was printed outside the UK, in Frankfurt. Since then, with increased international coverage, the FT has become a global newspaper. Printed in 22 locations with five international editions to serve the UK, continental Europe, the US, Asia and the Middle East. The European edition is distributed in continental Europe and Africa. It is printed Monday to Saturday at five centres across Europe. Thanks to correspondence reporting from all the centres of Europe, the FT is regarded as a leading news source involving the European Union, the Euro, and European corporate affairs. In 1994 FT launched a luxury lifestyle magazine, How to Spend It. In 2009 it launched a standalone website for the magazine. On 13 May 1995 the Financial Times Group made its first foray into the online world with the launch of FT.com. This provided a summary of news from around the globe and was supplemented in February 1996 with the launch of stock prices, followed in spring 1996 by the second generation site. The site was funded by advertising and contributed to the online advertising market in the UK in the late 1990s. 
Between 1997 and 2000 the site underwent several revamps and changes of strategy, as the FT Group and Pearson reacted to changes online. FT introduced subscription services in 2002. FT.com is one of the few UK news sites successfully operating on subscriptions. In 1997 the FD launched a U.S. edition, printed in New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Dallas, Atlanta, Orlando and Washington, D.C. Although the newspaper was first printed outside New York City in 1985, in September 1998 the FT became the first UK-based newspaper to sell more copies internationally than within the UK. In 2000 the Financial Times started publishing a German-language edition, Financial Times Deutschland, with a news and editorial team based in Hamburg. Its initial circulation in 2003 was 90,000. It was originally a joint venture with a German publishing firm, Gruner plus JAHR. In January 2008 the FT sold its 50% stake to its German partner. FT Deutschland never made a profit and is said to have accumulated losses of 250 million euros over 12 years. It closed on 7 December 2012. The Financial Times launched a new weekly supplement for the fund management industry on 4 February 2002. FT Fund Management was and still is distributed with the paper every Monday. FTFM is the world's largest circulation fund management title. Since 2005 the FT has sponsored the annual Financial Times and Goldman Sachs Business Book of the Year Award. On 23 April 2007 the FT unveiled a refreshed version of the newspaper and introduced a new slogan. We live in financial times. In 2007 the FT pioneered a metered paywall, which lets visitors to its site read a limited number of free articles during any one month before asking them to pay. Four years later the FT launched its HTML5 mobile web app. Smartphones and tablets now drive 12% of subscriptions and 19% of traffic to FT.com. In 2012 the number of digital subscribers passed the circulation of the newspaper for the first time and the FT drew almost half of its revenue from subscriptions rather than advertising. Since 2010 the FT has been available on Bloomberg Terminal Audience. According to the Global Capital Markets Survey, which measures readership habits amongst most senior financial decision makers in the world's largest financial institutions, the Financial Times is considered the most important business read, reaching 36% of the sample population, 11% more than the Wall Street Journal. Its main rival, The Economist, which is 50% owned by FD, reaches 32%. FT's The Banker also proved vital reading, reaching 24%. In addition, FT was regarded as the most credible publication in reporting financial and economic issues among the worldwide professional investment community. Audience The Economist was also rated the third most credible title by most influential professional investors, while the WSJ was second. Content the FT is split into two sections. The first section covers domestic and international news, editorial commentary on politics and economics from FT journalists such as Martin Wolf, Gillian Tess and Edward Luce, and opinion pieces from globally renowned leaders, policymakers, academics and commentators. The second section consists of financial data and news about companies and markets. Despite being generally regarded as primarily a financial newspaper, it does also contain TV listings, weather and other more informal articles. About 110 of its 475 journalists are outside the UK. The Lex column The Lex column is a daily feature on the back page of the first section. It features analyses and opinions covering global economics and finance. The FT calls Lex its agenda-setting column. The column first appeared on Monday, 1 October 1945. 
The origin of the name may stand for lex mercatoria, a Latin expression meaning literally, merchant law. It was conceived by Hargreaves Parkinson for the financial news in the 1930s and moved to the Financial Times when the two merged. Lex boasts some distinguished alumni who have gone on to make careers in business and government, including Nigel Lawson, Richard Lambert. Martin Taylor, John Mackinson, John Gardner, David Freud, John Kingman, George Graham, Andrew Balls and Joe Johnson. FT Weekend The FT publishes a Saturday edition of the newspaper called the Financial Times Weekend. It consists of international economic and political news, companies and markets, life and ads, house and home and FT magazine. How to Spend It How to Spend It is a monthly magazine published with FT Weekend. Founded and launched by Julia Carrick with Lucia van der Post as founding editor, its articles concern luxury goods such as yachts, mansions, apartments, horlogerie, haute couture and automobiles, as well as fashion and columns by individuals in the arts, gardening, food, and hotel and travel industries. To celebrate its 15th anniversary, FT launched the online version of this publication HowToSpendIt.com on 3 October 2009. Some media commentators were taken aback by the online launch of a site supporting conspicuous consumption during the financial austerity of the late 2000s recession. The magazine has been derided in rival publishers' blogs as repellent in the Telegraph and a latter-day abfab manual in The Guardian. A well-thumbed copy of the supplement was found when rebel forces broke into Colonel Gaddafi's Tripoli compound during the 2011 Libyan civil war. Editorial Stance The FT advocates free markets and is in favor of globalization. During the 1980s it supported Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan's monetarist policies. It has supported the UK Labour Party in the past, including at the general election in 1992, when Neil Kinnock was Labour leader. The FT's editorials tend to be moderately pro-Europe, supporting the European Union in the context of a common economic market and opposing political integration. The FT was firmly opposed to the Iraq War. In the US presidential election in 2008 the Financial Times endorsed Barack Obama, while it raised concerns over hints of protectionism. The FT favoured Obama again in 2012. In the general election in the UK in 2010 the FT was receptive to the Liberal Democrats' positions on civil liberties and political reform, and praised the then Labour leader, Gordon Brown, for his response to the global financial crisis of 2007-2008, but, on balance, it backed the Conservatives, while questioning their tendency to Euroscepticism. At the subsequent general election, in 2015, the FT called for the continuation of the conservative Liberal Democrat coalition that had governed between 2010 and 2015. Ownership and related publications The Financial Times Group was sold in July 2015 to Japanese company Nikkei for £844 million. Until August 2015, the FT Group had a 50% shareholding in The Economist, which was sold to the Agnelli family for £469 million. Related publications include The Financial Times, FT.com, FT Searching, the publishing imprint FT Press and numerous joint ventures. In November 2013 it agreed to sell Merger Market to London private equity investor BC Partners. In addition, the FT Group has a unit called FT Business which is a provider of specialist information on retail, personal and institutional finance segments. It is a publisher of the banker, money management and financial advisor, This is Africa, FDI Intelligence and Professional Wealth Management. The Financial Times Group announced the beta launch of Newsift FT Search, Inc. In March 2009, Newsift.com is a next-generation search tool for business professionals indexing millions of articles from thousands of global business news sources, not just the FD. 
The Financial Times Group acquired Money Media and Exec Appointments. The FT Group had a 13.85% stake in Business Standard Limited of India, the publisher of the Business Standard. FT Group has since sold this stake in April 2008 and has entered into an agreement with Network 18 to launch the Financial Times in India though it is speculated that they may find it difficult to do so, as the brand Financial Times in India is owned by the Times Group, the publisher of the Times of India and the Economic Times. The group also publishes America's Intelligence Wire, a daily general news wire service. The Financial Times Financial Publishing Division provides print and online content for retail, personal and institutional finance audiences. Examples of publications and services include Investors Chronicle, a personal finance magazine and website, FT Money, a weekly personal finance supplement in FT Weekend, FT Wealth, a magazine for the global high net worth community and FTFM, a weekly review of the global fund management industry, money management and financial advisor. The institutional segment includes the Banker, This is Africa, FDI Intelligence and Professional Wealth Management, Money Media, a separate arm of financial publishing, delivers a range of digital information services for fund management professionals around the globe, including Ignite, Ignite Europe, Ignite Asia, Fundfire and Bordic. Financial publishing includes publications and events for the European pensions industry. The group also publishes MandateWire, a financial information company that provides sales and market intelligence for investment professionals in North America, Europe and Asia. FT Knowledge is an associated company which offers educational products and services. FT Knowledge has offered the Introducing the City course during the autumn and spring since 2000. FT Predict is a prediction market contest the Financial Times is hosting that allows users to buy and sell contracts based on future financial, political, and news-driven events by spending fictional Financial Times dollars. Based on the assumptions displayed in James Surau Wiki's The Wisdom of Crowds, this contest allows people to use prediction markets to observe future occurrences while competing for weekly and monthly prizes. The Financial Times also ran a business-related game called In the Pink. The player is put in the virtual role of chief executive and the goal is to have the highest profit where the game closes. The winner of the game will receive a real monetary prize of £10,000. The game ran from 1 May to 28 June 2006. Indices the Financial Times collates and publishes a number of financial market indices, which reflect the changing value of the constituents. The longest running of these was the former Financial News Index, started on 1 July 1935 by the Financial News. The FT published a similar index, which was replaced by the Financial News Index, and the Financial News Index was then renamed the Financial Times Index on 1 January 1947. The index started as an index of industrial shares, and companies with dominant overseas interests were excluded, such as the Anglo-Iranian Oil Company, British American Tobacco, Lever Brothers and Shell. The oil and financial sectors were included decades later. The FTSE All Share Index, the first one of the FTSE series of indices, was created in 1962, comprising the largest 594 UK companies by market capitalisation. The letters FTSE represent that FTSE is a joint venture between the Financial Times and the London Stock Exchange. On 13 February 1984 the FTSE 100 was introduced, representing about 80% of the London Stock Exchange's value. In 1995 FTSE Group was made an independent company. The first of several overseas offices was opened in New York City in 1999, Paris in early 2000, and Hong Kong, Frankfurt, and San Francisco in 2001.
Madrid was open 2002, and Tokyo in 2003. Other well-known FTSE indices include the FTSE 350 Index, the FTSE Small Cap Index, 